subject of school this morning. We wanted to show you what the classroom of the future is going to look like. This year, Eanes ISD is looking into a brand new classroom as they get set to roll out iPads for every single student on the first day of class. Kate White is live at Bridgepoint Elementary School in West Austin with the details. This is just another way to get the kids excited. It really is, and they call it fun, which is so nice to hear. And you know, Sally, last year they rolled out iPads for the elementary school students throughout the year, but this year will be the first time ever that on the first day of class, every single student will be working with an iPad. So with new technology comes a new way of thinking, and that's why right here at Bridgepoint Elementary School, they are testing out a brand new classroom and when you see it you may be asking is this really an elementary school classroom so he's probably stuck on a question when you walk into Julie Semino's third grade classroom the first thing you'll notice it doesn't look anything like a third grade classroom and we're testing out different areas of learning for the children which include these no chairs on casters and these hockey stools which allow a lot of movement throughout the room and soft seating options so the kids really ultimately are going to be able to choose their best learning environment. All of the goodies you would have stuffed inside your desk are now placed in orange bins on a shelf. The idea? For kids to get out of their seats if they need something. The movement will help reset their brains. Bulletin boards have been replaced with glass panels. So the kids will be able to gather around these glass boards and just write their ideas on glass rather than chalk. And forget the stark white walls. A cool green makes for a more calming learning environment. And you can have a choice of either watching this board or you can actually watch the lesson on the iPad. And speaking of learning, it's now mainly digital with the help of the iPad and then Apple TV projecting their thoughts and projects onto the board. I use it as kind of the culmination of a lesson and then they're able to create an end product showing me what they've learned. So it looks like maybe a natural disaster happened. The concept is to give the students the ability to construct their own knowledge with the guidance of the teacher and when you ask the kids about it fun is the word they use most to describe school I like to use the math games I like to use apps that make writing more fun it makes me pay attention more like to what the lesson is and books are not gone completely <laughs> reading books for fun are still out on the shelves but the textbooks are kept in the cabinets but I always give them an option if they prefer to have paper they can use the traditional textbook or they have a scanned in version that they can open into a program and the school does have in place some safeguards to make sure the kiddos do not download material that is inappropriate. But when it has happened, they use that as a lesson into what is appropriate and what is not. But guys, you know, I have a three-year-old. I sometimes think he can operate the iPad a little bit better than I can. <laughs> and so for folks like me, uh, they do have an entire class just for parents to kind of get us up to speed ah. on exactly what the kids are doing just in case, you know, they come home and you're like... How are you doing this? Yeah. They'll teach you exactly what they're doing. Hey, along those lines, maybe when your student comes home and they've been on the iPad all day at school, I I'm wondering if they're going to want to be at home on the iPad all day too. Well, you know, your child probably will want to be on the iPad all day, but the whole thing with dealing with screen time, a lot of parents like to limit how much screen time their kiddos get. I asked the teachers about that, and they said because this is such a purposeful use of the iPad, they're not playing video games yeah. on it, uh, parents are more on board with it and maybe not limiting their screen time as much as a result. Okay, thank you so much for that, Kate. You know, we looked into some other school districts in the area to see what they're doing. Dripping Springs ISD rolling out their bring your own device or BYOD program this year. Tonight, parents are going to have their first chance to ask questions about that new change during the Meet the Teacher Night. To Georgetown, students and teachers there have a similar program. Students in Round Rock and Leander ISD started that policy last year.